Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, on today's <laughs> video, we're going to talk about the top 40 things that every cruiser should consider packing for the next carnival cruise yes if you're like us you're so sick and tired of going down these random lists seeing things that you should pack shouldn't pack we're just gonna lay it all out there for you on today's video we're gonna give you our essentials the things that you just absolutely have to have yeah and then we're also going to talk about some of our personal, our personal favorites the first thing that smart cruisers pack is a nine surge protecting power strip as you can see, these will work every time because you're gonna need more than a few plugs that they provide on the cruise. So make sure you pick you up one of these. Number two, waterproof phone case. Yes, man. They come on Amazon, pack one, pack two, whatever you need, they got it. Comes with the neck strap. Don't even play yourself. Just go ahead and do it. Dual purposes. Yes. Boom. Yeah, because in this, you can put your money, your credit cards, your license, and all that stuff in there. So none of that can be wet when you get in the pool or you on your scourges. The third thing that smart cruisers always pack that's essential is your lanyard, man, for your sign and sail card when you get on the ship. Very essential. So you can take yeah. this jong and put it around your neck and you ain't got to worry about losing your card, man. What is a sign and sail card? Because I get this question every time. A sign and sail card is basically your onboard spending account. On board, it is a cashless system. So once you get on board, you can either fund your card via cash yep. or with your debit or credit card. I speak highly against doing your debit card yeah. because of the holes that they put on it. But that's basically what a sign and sell card is. It's your access to everything on board. Yep. The fourth thing that smart cruisers always pack that you definitely don't want to forget is your shades, man. I'm telling okay. you. Because that sun out there on that water Hard it's on the eyes, man. So yeah, get you some shades. Absolutely. Number five, good old C bands. Y'all know this yeah, is my go-to. Or Dramamine. If you want to go the medicinal route, do that. But I would rather use these. And you don't have that groggy feeling. And just in case you don't know what it is, it's prevent you from getting seasick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number six, sunscreen, man. So we got two different kinds. This is the spray kind, and this is the kind you just wipe on. This is the kind that you use when you have darker skin. It does not leave a purple or white cast on your skin. I will put a link down below. It's pricey, but we got to do it. Yeah, because we don't want y'all to be out there getting sunburned. No. Number seven, phone charger. Yeah. Or two or three, because you don't ever want to be without that. Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. Yes. <laughs> Number eight is a passport and driver's license mm -hmm. or your birth certificate and driver's license. You need That's either it. two of those pairs to get on the ship, man. So you definitely want to make sure you pack that. And don't don't come up in there with the birth certificate with the feed on it. Please don't. I, I... <laughs> That's for your mama and them, man. That's it. <laughs> Number nine. Please print your boarding pass. Yeah, man. Some terminals don't give you a problem with it being electronically on your phone. Some of them do. Just print them for God's sake. Just do that. <laughs> yes. Number 10 of the, of the smart things that smart cruisers pack is luggage tags, man. And we love these ones in particular because they have these yeah. metal uh, bands here. So yeah, <laughs> it just screws right on in like this. And you good to go. They are not gonna tear, rip nothing. Yeah. So they can handle your bag any kind of way they want to. Yep. Your stuff gonna make it. Number 11, y'all seen me talk about this before, but it is your medicine case. And I yes, told you, I have one and it's linked in my Amazon store where you build it yourself. It has a locking system where you put it in, label, close it up, lock. Yes indeed. Your stuff is not going anywhere. This has 10 different compartments so that you can pack like 10 different medications depending on what you want to do. Yeah, man. Got your medicine cabinet in your pocket. Boom. Or pocketbook. I have two. One for travel, one for everyday use. Yup. <laughs> Number 12, man, is a wrist wash because you definitely, especially if you go on excursions, you want to make sure you get back to the ship mm -hmm. on time. Yeah, you definitely want to have that wrist watch, which I got my Apple watch on now, but I'm going to have a cheaper hey, watch. watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a cheaper watch when I go on a trip. <laughs> Number 13, please bring cash for tips. Yes. And preferably the smaller bills, the better, because they will try to act like they can't make change if you bring a bigger bill. Yeah. Cash for tips. 
Yes. Number 14, man. Our first aid kit. You mm -hmm. definitely don't want to forget that because you just don't know if you're you going to have an accident while you're on there. I know they got the medic on the ship and everything, but. That calls. Yeah, but if you know, <laughs> you get a little cut on your hand, band aid, boom, you're good to go. Number 15. For the men and for the women, a hat. My husband yeah, goes voluntarily bald during the summers. Can you imagine not having a hat on your head? I use it more to keep the sun off of my neck and off of my face, when, especially when I'm lounging around. Yeah. Good man. old sun hat ain't never hurt nobody. Yes, sir. Number 16, man, this one can be easily forgotten. A belt. Yeah, you can go around the ship and be like, dang it, I forgot my belt. So make <laughs> sure that you get your belt. It's essential, man. Especially on the phone Yeah. <laughs> Number 17, bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> We all get into that rut where it's like, that's the one thing we always forget. Just pack yourself your travel bonnet and keep it in your toiletry bag. That's what I do. Yeah. So if you didn't know by now, I'm about to tell you. I'm also a travel agent. So if you need someone to book your cruise or you got a little group cruise going on, I'm your girl. Yes, indeed. www.codefuntravel, that'll be all linked below. And also, I'm getting this question a lot. I've already booked my cruise, but I still need help. I can take over your booking under certain circumstances. Just email me at codefuntravel at gmail.com. I got you. Yes, indeed. So these items that we just did were 17 of our essential items. Now we transition it over to our personal mm -hmm. phase that these are the things that we use to enhance our crews. Amen. All right, number 18, water shoes. And slides. Yes, man. So the majority of the time, this is what I'm walking around with on the ship because they, they are so comfortable and easy to walk around in, man. And they're easy to do excursions and these yeah. kind, the good kind with yeah. the good soles on them. Yeah. Excursions all day. Yep. Number 19, a light jacket, like a windbreaker jacket, maybe a jean jacket. At night, it gets pretty windy and it gets really cool. And I'm one of those people that I get cold. My arms get cold really quickly. Yep. So boom, do that. Number 20, man, we recommend is poopery, or what we call it mahogany tiki wood from Bath and Body Works. Yeah. Uh, for the time that you need to go and drop the kids off at the pool, <laughs> and you want to keep it nice and fresh at the pool, you want to do that, man. <laughs> it should have been an essential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 21. A waterproof fanny pack. If you're like me, I'm a water baby. I love to be in the water, yes, but indeed. I don't trust nobody with my stuff. So I take everything <laughs> that I love be with me. So this water, um, this fanny pack comes with the Velcro. And when I say it's strong, it's strong. Yeah. Not only that, it has the triple Ziploc technology. So one, sealed, boom, sealed, boom again, sealed. So once you seal all three of these, they go down like an accordion like this. Then this ain't no water getting in there, dog. Heck no, man. <laughs> no water getting in there. And put it around your waist, secure your stuff. You're good to go. Number 22, a cameraman. So you can make sure you can either record or take pictures of your memories, which you can either have a camera or you can use your, your phone. So that to us enhances our trip. Absolutely. Because we get to bring back the memories, man. To you. Yes. Ooh. And our family. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Number 23, your formal night attire. I know some people don't like to do it anymore, but if you're anything like us, we be looking for an excuse yeah, to get real bad uh, and bougie. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend that <laughs> just do it. Like it's a fun event. Just just go with it, have a good time. Be do do what the cruisers do. Yeah, that time to get a little sexy, man. Things get am I? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Number 24, man. Beach bag, man. Love. Those are perfect when you go on excursions, man. Especially beach excursions. I bought this in Freeport, y'all. Yep. Five bucks. Yep. <laughs> Buy another one when I go next month. <laughs> Number 25. If you bring your wine on board, as we like to bring it on board, because who has time to pay for something you can bring on board? Um, your wine, your corkscrew, bring that on board so that you don't have to pay the corking fee. Yes, indeed. And I recommend just going ahead and uncorking it before you bring your bottle anywhere because they be still trying to charge people. Who got time for this? Yeah. <laughs> Item number 26, uh, and this is more for the queen, is a swimsuit cover up, man, because you know, you, you might not want the assets out the, all the whole time you out there on the beach or by the pool, man. So yeah, get you a nice swim up cover up, man. She got some nice ones. 
Yeah. Because I'd be wanting to take them off of her, but yeah, she got some ice. I, stop talking, please. <laughs> yeah. Like, let the assets hang out, baby. <laughs> Number 27, a backpack. This comes in handy when we go on excursions because yeah. this one right here folds up and it's like this big in your luggage. But it's a full size Love backpack. Love that thing, man. And it is, when I say durable, it has, durable. it don't took us to Jamaica two yeah, was, times. Yeah. Two, I've had it since 2018. And, and, and she's still she's kicking. Still kicking. <laughs> Number 28, man, uh, downy wrinkle release. Now, I know that they do have, the um, majority of the ships do have the um, laundry room where you can iron your clothes, but some ships do not have it. It's only very few of them that don't, yeah. but we always recommend bringing the, uh, well, our personal favorite is bringing our wrinkle release. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, anybody got time for that, man. Right. To be wrinkled. <laughs> Number 29, refillable bottles or tumblers. Shout out to Dre and Shan TV. Yeah, man. Because y'all y'all have seen these a thousand times. We love this cup. Love these cups. The man. stuff stays cold. Like if you go to sleep, wake up the next day, it's still cold. Yeah, I'm <laughs> ice and everything. Number 30, man. Power bank. Yes. Yes. This should be essential, but it's not essential. <laughs> but we bring it just in case our phone goes dead at the wrong time. We can recharge that bad boy up. So we do recommend this, but this is our personal phrase. One yeah, of our personal yeah, phrases. Absolutely. Number 31, believe it or not, a lot of people go on cruises and they don't get into the water. I'm not that person, but don't forget your swimming trunks. If yeah. you're anything like us, I love my baby, yeah. but I am the person that plans and does everything. And he's the person that says where we're going again. Yeah. And yeah. I forgot my swimming trunk a plenty of times. <laughs> and had to pay the high price to buy some new ones. Yes. Yeah. Number 32, man, bathing suit. Yeah. Which I don't got to tell you that because you will never forget your bathing suit. I have like right, four, five know. of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you like getting the water, bathing suit as well. 33, personal fave. We love to be able to bring on our canned beverages. Yeah. I'm a Sprite Zero <clears throat> kind of girl. You can't find it everywhere. So I'm bringing my 12 count of Sprite Zero on yes, board. Yes, indeed. Number 34, yeah, our personal fave is towel clips. Y'all know it can get very windy out there and it can blow your skit off your balcony <laughs> or off the back of your chair while you're sitting out on the Lido deck. So we, that should be essential, but these are something that can then definitely enhance your crew. Yeah, and you can find these at the Dollar Tree. Right. Number 35, resealable bags. And the way that I use them is just in case my swimwear or our water shoes or something like that isn't completely dry, by the time we go to pack our skit up, Throw them in the in the bag, seal them up, and that way you don't have to worry about all your stuff just being in yep. a sour, mushy mess. Yup. <laughs> yeah. Number thirty six, man, is a laundry bag, which this is the one that we have, or a pop up, a pop up hamper. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we love this is because we take off our dirty clothes and put it in here, and then once we get ready to leave, if we got some extra clothes that are dirty, we just put it in there and take it and. Draw a string them up like that and put it back in our bag, man. And it keeps everything nice and separate. Yep. And I'm and I like this too because it also has a little little handle like this so you can put it on you like this right here, man. Yeah. So man. we especially do that part when we're in resorts. Yeah. But I, we don't want to look. We don't want to be them people leaving a cruise ship. Looking like that, yeah. Like, <laughs> what the hell is y'all doing, man? <laughs> Number thirty-seven. This is a this this is mine. This is his. <laughs> Portable speakers. Yeah, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have the Bluetooth speaker. It's not essential, but for us, it really is. We love having some tunes while we in our room, man. And these are perfect. that's the cabin. This we're those people on the beach. <laughs> yeah, beach cat. <laughs> Number thirty-eight. Take you some reusable straws, man. They come in handy because you know them them paper straws they have on the cruise. And them candy, they're gross. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Top of that. Yeah, that's that's the life right there. The reusable straws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number thirty nine should be essential, but it's our personal fave. It is life. Life saw, man. Baby, when you can get the travel size ones, clean that room. Clean that room, spray all that skit down. Yes, indeed. Then open your balcony, because you don't want to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 40, y'all. We made it. That's our personal fave, is taking some dish liquid, man, so mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, you can wash 
your tumblers, and your straws, man. Mm-hmm. Because I know you're not going to drink out of that all week long. Right. And don't watch this get up. Yeah. Y'all so, nasty. That man. right there. Down below, you will see links to our Amazon store that goes in detail of the things you saw here. But also, I have a downloadable um, packing list as well that is extensive. Make sure you head over there. It's going to give you everything you need to pack. Boom, boom, boom. It's interactive. Boom, boom, boom. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video of the 12 things to not pack on your Carnival Cruise. And we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace.